Hi, I'm Chris Loebsack, and this is my partner, Brian Davis. And today we wanted to show you some options to strengthen your wrists and then stretch them out to prepare you not only for general wrist health, but to do future arm balances and inversions as part of your yoga practice. Uh, so these are called flashlights. We'll start with the arms down at the side, extend the fingers, and then we'll pull the fingers, catching a ball and making a tight fist, and then we're going to go really fast in and out and keep it going. So the elbows stay straight, shoulders relax down, and just really extending and flexing the fingers at the hand, firing up all of the muscles in the front and back of the forearm. We're almost there. I promise I'll be honest, I'm watching the clock. Keep breathing steadily. Five more seconds. And release, shake it out. We'll take the hands forward, preparing for second round. Same thing, in and out. We're just chasing, changing the line of gravity and shifting the line of energy. It's like you're sending magic out through your fingers. Then your forearms get stronger. Now they might start to feel fatigued or fire up, but keep going. There's nothing that's weight bearing or injurious here. Just starting to make them burn in the good way. In the final five seconds, shake it out. Big breath in, big breath out. Take them out to the side and begin. Keep the shoulders relaxed so you're not throwing it from the shoulders or the elbows. You're really working as best as you can to get this firing down into the wrists and forearms. Spine remains tall. Give me a light hug in on your belly muscles to support your low back. Final five seconds. And shake it out. You're in the home stretch. We've got one more round. All right. Reach it up overhead. Soften and begin. You can do the advanced version by trying to smile the whole time. As you know, you're getting stronger. And it might start to feel more difficult to open and close those fingers. That's just those muscles working. Keep it going. You're in the home stretch of 10 seconds. Look how fast that goes. You're in your final five. Big breath in. Breathe it down. If you feel your forearms, they might actually feel warm to the touch and even a little firmer as you quite physically strengthen them and fire them up. So we do want to release it and stretch them out. Of course, shaking your hands out is perfectly fine just to release any excess tension. But now we're going to stretch this front side, the um, forearm flexors, coming into a close tabletop. So as you come up under your knees, your fingertips turn back towards your knees. We'll take a breath in and then slowly begin to lean back, keeping your palm on the ground. If you tend to hyperextend in the elbows, bend your elbows a little bit so you don't drive too much into the elbow joint. A little can go a long way. You don't have to force back too far to feel a lot of opening in the wrist flexors. And at any point, if it's just too much to even put the hands in that position, you can always take one hand at a time, just pulling back on the palm with your opposite hand. Slowly release. And now we'll turn to the back side and stretch the forearm flexors, extensors, sorry. And we'll bring the back of the palms to the earth. And at first, maybe you just try and straighten the arms to the best of your ability. Take a breath in. If it feels okay, you can begin to lean back a little bit. And these for most people are a lot more tense than the opposite direction. It's not a direction we take our wrists in a lot. If you're feeling really mobile, you can begin to play with supination and pronation by turning the eyes of the elbows forward and back. That's a pretty intense move for some of you. Again, releasing the pressure and taking the more modified, less weight-bearing option to stretch out might be uh, a little bit more comfortable. Shake it out. All right. You can do these a couple times a week to begin to build uh, strength and then some functioning range of motion. 
Uh, you can roll them out at any time as well. Um, you can add this just as a separate exercise or use this as a preparation for your arm balances and inversions. Have a beautiful day.